بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد. From amongst the many profound statements of our Sheikh Sheikh Mukbil bin Hadi Al Wadi Allah يرحمه and may Allah subhanahu wa taala bless him with jannah to firdaus. The Sheikh on one of his tapes entitled Dawa to Ahl Sunnah, a very 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 powerful tape. And on this tape, the Sheikh said, which sums up for us our minhaj in the most general way, and it sums up the position of Ahl Sunnah with regards to Dawa ila Allah, to calling to Allah, that our purpose is to call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and our purpose is not to call to ourselves, and our purpose is not to be amazed with ourselves, and our purpose is not to call to our particular group or our particular this, but it is as the Sheikh said, and I'll leave you uh, to, and we'll look at the Sheikh's statement in, to the best of our ability. The Sheikh said on this tape, he, when he began his speech, he began by saying, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah. He said, Hiya Dawah to Ila. Oh, da'wa to min kitab illahi ila kitab illahi wa min sunnati rasulillahi ila sunnati rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now it may appear to be a very simple statement but if you know anything about the da'wa of this alam rabbani Allah yarhamahu you'll understand and pick up many, many important things by analyzing this statement. He said that the dawah or the call of Ahl Sunnah is that they call from the Book of Allah, meaning the Quran, to the Book of Allah, and from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now, in that statement, when we sit and analyze and we look at the Sirah, we look at the life of the of uh, of the Sheikh, Allah yarhamahu. And of course, first and foremost, when we look at the life of Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Sahaba radiyallahu taala anhum ajma'in and the Salaf al-Salih. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. May Allah be pleased with all of them and have mercy upon them all. The scholars from before up until this time will see that those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed with tawfiq to have ikhlas in, in, in sincerity in their call, that they called from the Quran. They used nasus, they used the text. It wasn't their desires that they spoke from. They called from the book of Allah, from the Quran, to the Quran. So they invited people to the Quran. Their da'wah was to the Quran. It wasn't to sitting with my group, sitting to my particular masjid, sitting here, sitting there. But they called from the Quran to the Quran. The speech of Allah, that's what it's about. Women asked and called manada. What's better than the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And they called from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is their dawah. They didn't call themselves a new group. They didn't say, we're jama'at to fulani. We're not jama'at to tabliq. We're not jama'at to takfir, dawah to takfir wal hijra. We're not jama'at to akhwan muslimin. We're not the ashaira. We're not the mu'tazila. We're not the jahmiya. We're not the qadariya. We're not the Shia. We're not from Ahla Bataniya. We're not from Ahla Tasawwuf. But rather they called strictly, uh, this is beautiful, strictly from Kitabillah to Kitabillah. Strictly from Sunnah to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Have the da'wah to Ahla Sunnah. That's summed up very briefly. That it isn't to your particular group, your sect, your lecture. But in fact, fear Allah. Fear Allah and call to the Book of Allah and Allah will give you tawfiq in your da'wah. 
Look at the scholars of the past. Let's look at Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. We call him Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Why? His, many of his books were burned. Probably majority of his works are burned. And what we have today is Majmu'a Fatawa. And from that Majmu'a of Fatawa, how much benefit do we have? How many scholars, for example, in Saudi Arabia or in, in Egypt and in, in Yemen and Ghayr al how many of them explain Aqidah Tawasatiya only? Would Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, as it is re reported that he wrote in between Salat al-Asr and Maghrib, this small risala, and how many of us study this for months? And how many shurahats, how many explanations of this books? That shows his ikhlas lillah, his sincerity. And he wrote that, I believe, in the prison in between Asr and Maghrib. The point being here is he called to the Quran and the Sunnah. And he made bayan, or he clarified the call and the da'wah of Ahl Sunnah, what they believe. And all of it, mabniyatun ala kitab wa sunnah. It was all built and it all came from the text, textual evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet. Now, coming up to modern day times, how many mountains of knowledge that have preceded us in this time, or, or actually are contemporaries and have recently died? Allah yarhamahum, and may Allah. Bless them all, grant them all forgiveness, and bless them with Jannat of Rados. Ulama, mountains of knowledge like Bin Baz, Rahimullah Ta'ala, uh, Bin Uthaymeen, Rahimullah Ta'ala, um, Imam Sa'adi, who preceded them, Allah Yarhamu, Imam uh, yani, uh, Shanqiti, Allah Yarhamu, uh, great Imams like uh, Muhammad Aman Jami, Rahimullah Ta'ala, Imams like uh, and then, of course, Sheikh Mukbil, Allah yarhamuhu. And of course, Imam al Albani, Allah yarhamuhu, Muhaddith. These great mountains that we, as a Sheikh uh, uh, Abdul Masin al Abad, al -Abad Allah al Hafiz Allah Ta'ala, who teaches in the Haram, he said, the Talib al Ilm cannot do without the books of Sheikh al Albani in this day and age. You can't do without them. Because he did so much, so much checking of ahadith, the authenticity. How many scholars, scholarly works that we find today, and they say sahahu al albani. They refer to Sheikh al albani for the authenticity of that hadith, because of his khidma to the sunnah. This is min fadli Allah subhanahu wa taala. Yutihi man yasha. This is what Allah subhanahu wa taala grants to the people, and he, he gives it to whomsoever he pleases. Subhanahu wa taala. This comes from sincerity. And it comes from Tamasik bi Sunnah. And as Shaykh Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi always said, he said, Natamasik bi kitabillah wa bi Sunnati Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, We hold on to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. That's our Dawah. Have a da'wah to Ahl sunnah And I invite myself first and foremost to be sincere and begin to practicing that. And I invite you to practice that and be better than me and better than other people who try to call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be sincere in your da'wah. Be sincere in the da'wah of Ahl sunnah Because as a, a sheikh, I was just recently in a dars, he said a very beautiful benefit. He said, in these times of great fitna, he said, getting involved in these affairs, this one's off it, this one's on it, that doesn't mean we don't make rud and refutation of Ahlul Bidah or refutation even of someone from Ahlul Sunnah when they fall into mistakes. We, we advise them, advise them secretly. And if they continue, then maybe it calls for to, to, to advise openly so the people don't fall into that error. But at the same time, this is ibadah. At the same time, this is this mabni ala ikhlas wa sunnah. Again. You can't escape from it because these are things of worship. It's not to make yourself bigger, but it's to rud al khata. It's to refute the mistake and to hopefully guide that person back to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. But the Sheikh said something very profound. And what did he say? He said that after all this fitna that we engage in and, and, and getting in all these different affairs and engaging in this, you're going to be asked about how you spent your time in this dunya. And all of us, all of us, we're not going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, we're not going to go to that grave with our group. You're not going to go with your hizb. You're not going to go with your jama'at. You're not going to go with your sect. 
You're going to meet Allah and you're going to be on the, your deathbed alone. So you better get straight and you better worship Allah with sincerity. And you better be careful about what you say with your tongue and careful at what you look at and careful at what, what you and, and guard your private parts. Try to be on istiqama, try to be on sincerity and be on the straight path and be on kitabillah. Call to the Quran and learn the Quran and call uh, first and foremost learn the Quran and call to it and learn the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and call to it and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil sallallahu alayhi wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad